Why you gotta be so heartless? No, you think it's harmless. Tear me apart, and girl, the hardest part is so high on tension. Taking miles from inches, leave me in the darkness. Never finish what we started. Why you gotta be so heartless? Why you gotta be so heartless? Oh. Hey guys, this is Blaze of Blaze Guitar Lessons, and tonight. Or today, whatever. I'm recording this at night, but I'm going to teach you how to play "Heartless" by Diplo, featuring Morgan Wallen. Um, this is a, such a great song. People, I don't know. I just love this song. Um, so, real quick, um, I know this has nothing to do with the song, but if someone told me that if I grew my beard out, I would look like Chase Rice, and I used to have a beard, so I was like, I'll grow it back out and see. So, I just want to know if you guys wouldn't mind just leaving a comment, letting me know. Yes, you do think I look like Chase Rice with my beard and the hat like this and stuff, or no, if you don't think I do, <laughs> okay? And you can be, feel free to be a little bit colorful with it. Don't like swear and stuff, but just let me know like, you don't look a thing like him, or yeah, you look absolutely like that dude. So just let me know, um, just because I'm curious. <laughs> so, uh, but also, so let's get into this song. Um, real quick, if you, uh, to those of you who have subscribed to my videos already, like thanks a ton, I'm getting a lot more subscribers lately and I really appreciate you guys doing that. For those of you who haven't yet, if you like this video uh, and you find it useful, please subscribe. So let's get into this song. I'm going to scoot a little bit closer here so you can see how it's all played, but there's no capo on it and it's in standard tuning. All right, so as I call it, it's like a good raw guitar song. Um, I can't remember the guy's name, but I actually saw the guy who wrote this um, play it live. It's not, it wasn't Morgan Wallen or Diplo, but I saw the guy who wrote it uh, play it live and uh, in concert and it was, it was really cool. So he played it the way that I'm going to show you how to play it right now. I'm not just going to show you how to do like the single, like, uh, the single notes where it's like heartless. I'm not going to show you how to do that because um, the way that he plays it, 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 like that wouldn't be a good a good way to play it. The way that that it's like album recorded wouldn't be a, the best way to play it for like for someone because there's like almost no guitar in it, right? It's a lot more like be, like like uh, bass beats and stuff like that. So I'm going to show you guys how the guy that wrote it plays it. Okay, so you're first going to start with C sharp minor. Okay. All right, you can use a pick, you don't have to, but I'm, I'm not going to right now. So you're gonna do C sharp minor. The way that you play that is it's it's like a power chord. So if you don't know power chords, learn them. They're awesome. They make it they make guitar so much less intimidating at in the beginning. So you're gonna put your pointer finger on the fourth fret on the A, on the a string. Your, uh, your ring finger is gonna go on the uh, sixth fret on the D string, and your pinky finger is gonna go on the um, on the G string. I don't know why I forget these if I don't like look at it. I'm just so used to just playing it. But um, and then you're gonna um, on the sixth fret on the G string, and then with your middle finger, and you don't have to do this if it's too hard, but it will it, it sounds better. Um, you're gonna put your pinky or sorry your middle finger is gonna go on the fifth fret on the B string, and that's where it sounds like this. Heartless. Okay, that's how it starts. So uh, let me uh, just get up here so I can see exactly where I'm at. Then next you're gonna go to E. Okay, just simple E. So it's gonna go heartless, heartless. Okay, then you're gonna do B, so just like that. And if B is too hard, because it is, it is a little bit harder. And I actually just don't even like putting my fingers in the way that you play B. But so you, if you can play B like that. If that's a little bit too hard, just do, just don't use your middle finger. Just do it like a power chord, not B minor. Don't play that because that doesn't sound right. But just do it like a power chord on B. So you just leave out the middle finger, okay? And, you're, and you'll move these ones up. So I guess you could play it like that as well and leave out the, the pinky, but I don't like playing power chords that way. Okay, so that's how it sounds if you're playing it as a power chord, or you can play it like B like that. And then you do F sharp. And the way you're gonna do that is just like a power chord. If you don't know this one, it's pointer finger on the second fret on the big E string, ring finger on the fourth fret on the A string, and your, your pinky is going to go on the fourth fret on the D string, and then your middle finger all right, sorry to flip you off a little bit. Uh, your middle finger goes on the uh, third fret on the G string, okay? Okay, so it's... So heartless. Okay, so it's going to be like, you're going to do it like this. So you're going to start with C sharp minor. Um, so that's the intro, so it's going to be... Heartless. E. Heartless. B. So heartless, so heartless. F sharp. Heartless. Okay, and you're going to play that again. For the verse. So that's the intro, and you're gonna play the verse the same. So at the beginning of the song, I would just play the single strums. So I do. Say you're going out late. I count down till you call me. 
It's just one of those things that you do when you're lonely and you're all about the chase, but you won't ever let me catch you. Oops, see, so that's if you play B minor. Okay, so that's not right, so. Oh, uh, let's see. But, but you won't ever let me catch you, and I wish it was the same, but I know I'm gonna let you in. And then this is where you'd start strumming. In again, and when I do, it's gonna hurt like hell, and you don't mean to. That's what I tell myself, but. Okay, so that's how you're gonna play that. So you're gonna start. After you do the, the single strums, the once you get to the, um, let's see, and you'll chase, but you won't ever let me catch you, and I wish it was the same. But I know, so it's, but I know I'm gonna let you. But I know I'm gonna let you in again, and when I do, it's gonna hurt like hell. So that's that's the strumming pattern for that. Okay, so it's. And you're gonna go, um, it's what I tell myself, but why you gotta be so? Because remember, that's where they, they go like, the, they silence most of the, of the instruments in it. It's a DJ playing it, so it's not really instruments, but they silence most of the instruments in it. And so they go on, after F sharp, um, it's what I tell myself, but why you gotta be so harmless? I know you think it's harmless, tearing me apart. And Girl, the hardest part is. Okay, and they, you play that strumming pattern throughout the chorus. So the, the chord progression is the same in the verse. It's actually the same throughout the entire song, through the intro, verse, and chorus. All right, and even in the bridge. Then you'll repeat, you know, repeat that for the second verse. Um, the bridge is going to be a little bit different though, so I'll show you how to play that. So when we get to the bridge, you're going to do, um, um, girl, why you gotta be so in between? Um, I would recommend that, that for this part, that you either do that, that you either do that same one, okay, or that you, like, that you palm mute it. Girl, why you gotta be so in between, loving me and leaving, leaving home. Okay, because if you palm mute it, remember that's if you're putting this hand as close as you can right here to that like bridge thing, okay? If you put it as close as you can to that, and you strum like that, so you're strumming basically like the, the, the lower notes, like the deeper notes, right? So the higher, like the ones that sound lower, you're gonna basically be strumming those. And the, the higher your hand is up here, that's, that makes the, the palm muting sound better, okay? Because otherwise if you do it up here, See how much better it sounds the lower you go. You want it to be like barely even be touching it. But that makes it sound better. And you want the song to have some variation. Okay? So you could, I mean you really you could play the whole thing just by doing this. But it, it will get boring to people. Like it, I don't know, it, I guess maybe it won't get boring, but it doesn't it doesn't sound as good, it doesn't have as much showmanship. And I think I've told you guys before I'm all about showmanship, okay? So that's why you I would slow it down a little bit for the bridge. Girl, why you gotta be so in between loving me and leaving, leaving oh. So notice I'm, I'm doing basically the same strumming. I'm going oh. So down, 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 down. Okay, now I'm not saying play that for the whole bridge, but I would play it for at least part of it, so you can do, uh, girl, why you gotta be so in between, loving me and leaving, leaving, oh, I should probably know this crap by now, oh, oh. Okay, so then you could play it like that, and you could still basically strum it the same, but without palm muting it, and that makes the song sound better for the people that you play it for. Um, you know, and like I said, this song is not something that's really played on the guitar when, like, 
when it went the way it's recorded. So you're gonna have to get a little bit creative with it, okay? So anyway, um, that's how you play the song. It's super easy, it's the same chord progression the whole way, the strumming pattern is crazy easy. Um, let me know if you have any questions um, in the, or com you know, comments in the comments section, um, or if you have any requests for other songs you'd like me to teach you next. Anyway, thanks guys, and uh, I'll see you next time.